Please join Michael Voris on July 15th through 17th for a second annual weekend retreat in Bloomington, Indiana at the grounds of the Franciscan Friars of Immaculate. The retreat's theme will be the Church Triumphant and we'll discuss the current crisis in the church as well as our response in charity and boldness. Please click on the link for registration details and information. God bless. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Live action strikes again. This time, Indiana Planned Parenthood is caught repeatedly admitting all across the state that any of the so-called health care services the abortion provider offers can be found at the hospital down the street. The sting by live action comes during the legal battle in Indiana over Medicaid funding for Planned Parenthood, which claims that defunding them would rob individuals of their access to what they call a key Medicaid provider. Planned Parenthood's own statistics point out that they serve less than 1% of Medicaid patients in Indiana. Live Action's founder, Lila Rose, says that Planned Parenthood has lied about everything in the book, from mammograms, covering up sex trafficking and statutory rape, misusing tax dollars, and is now trying to lie about Medicaid. To see the video of Live Action's sting operation, visit our resource page by clicking on the link right over here. Poland defends life. After months of protecting the initiative from outside scrutiny, the Polish government has announced after an immense grassroots campaign that there will be a vote on banning abortion from the country completely. LifeSite News says organizers of the effort kept their campaigning under wraps across the country for fear that pro-abortion foreign powers would pour money into opposing their efforts. Pro-lifers were, were told they needed 100,000 signatures of citizens to put the abortion ban in Parliament, but got 600,000 in two weeks. Poland recognizes abortion as an evil effort to kill children after suffering forced abortions at the hands of Nazi and communist regimes and the Catholic country plans on completing their vote on abortion laws by the end of the week. For an inspiring and detailed account of how Poland executed their campaign, visit our resource page by clicking on the link right outside the screen. New Jersey is next. So soon after the same-sex marriage law passed in New York, seven lesbian and gay couples are suing for more rights in New Jersey. The couples claim that the state has not fully fulfilled its legislative commitment to treat homosexual couples the same way it treats married couples. One man complains he was not able to make medical decisions for his partner, while one lesbian says she had to jump through too many hoops to adopt the girl they have from what they call their civil union. The groups are filing their suit at the same time gay marriage was made legal in the neighboring state of New York, but this is only the latest step in a nine-year legal battle in New Jersey. Stay with us, we'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Chinese ordination defies Vatican. The Catholic Patriotic Association of China has defied Rome by ordaining a bishop without mandate from Pope Benedict. The candidate selected for the so-called ordination, Father Paul Le Xi'in, is a priest widely known for violating his vows by having an affair with the woman who later bore his child. CatholicCulture.org reports his excuse for violating Vatican mandate was that he sought approval from Rome but could wait no longer. Canon law states that the illicit ordination of bishops results in automatic excommunication of the ordaining bishop and the candidate he ordains. Please read the full article on our resource page by clicking on the link just outside the screen. Clinton sends Gaga to Europe Pride. Hillary Clinton boasted proudly at an LGBT Pride Month celebration recently that the U.S. Embassy in Rome played a key role in securing Lady Gaga for the homosexual perform Pride performance earlier this month. Her statement drew ridicule from former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., John Bolton, who said that this affair has proven just how irrelevant Clinton's office has become. He went on to say, quote, The fact that you never see the Secretary of State at the center of deliberations on national security issues, she's kind of like an afterthought at the White House, end quote. Lady Gaga is a self-proclaimed bisexual, infamous for her anti-Christian sentiments, her raunchy performances, and same-sex activism. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on RealCatholicTV.com. And be sure to check out The Vortex today where Michael speaks from Ireland 
about the absurdity of affirmative orthodoxy. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure and tell all, all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective.